how did it start? How did it start? It started in Top of the Gizia. Top of the Gizia. Are you locally in Mario? Over a pizza. Over a pizza. And it's a sorry. bowl of, uh, I don't know, I think I had Ville Milanese and spaghetti and Napolitano. Yeah. No, we did come out of Julius House first. We said, let's raise some money. Yeah. And let's. For charity. For charity. Yeah. And then we decided Julius House was a local charity that yeah. needed our money. That's right. And. <laughs> Air in a Prayer Rally 2012, wealthy businessmen from the Bournemouth area clubbed together to buy cars for no more than £300 to rally 470 miles in a two day event to Scotland. Now we've got a good flower. That's okay. It's one of the most amazing events and it wants to be an annual event. This is our first year this year, sold out like that. Yes, I have a lot of fun raising money for Julius Hospice. And I've never been to Scotland. Been to I used to live in Scotland. Alright. Oh, I am half Scottish. It's not local. Yeah. Um, I'm one of the organisers, um, so I helped with, with Baron and Sarah and Lorna came up with the idea for this madness. Um, I'm, I'm his brother, I uh, couldn't wait to get involved. I'm Leela Bayer, I'm Vivian Allen Dean, and we're just a bit mad and thought it would be a great opportunity to raise some money for Julia's house and um, join the rally, show the boys how it's done. Okay, well, my name's Stuart Hansen, um, and uh, I think it's for a great cause, a local cause, and by great people, it's going to be a lot of fun. Fantastic, yeah, good fun, good cause, and uh, really looking forward to it. Yeah, very unique, and uh, it's nice that someone's uh, done something like this, I think. So, yeah, it should be, should be very enjoyable, and, uh, you know, a good cause at the same time. What happens to the cars when they get there, John? They get scrapped. Who's picking them up? Trent's are picking them up as soon as we arrive there. And they're destined for the crusher. And they're destined for the crusher. Oh, so oh, we were originally going with an ice cream bag. But they're too expensive. Yeah. Uh, so then I'm thinking 2 cb at the moment. We're thinking 2 cb The only thing is you're a lot heavier than me, so it'll be unbalanced. It'll be kind of... Ah, yeah, that's it. It's going to be, it, it, that is a big thing. It's going to be quite big and spacious. <laughs> Not sure, possibly a Fiat 126, given that we're both over six foot. Um, or a, maybe, a convertible yeah. maybe. Or a convertible, yeah. not sure yet. Yeah. I've disclosed too much at this stage, but fast, sporty, the winner. <laughs> like us, really. <laughs> hmm, might, might seem uncommon myself a nice little, uh, nice little jag that one. A uh, bit of a fuel vessel, but maybe they'll put the people off. Nice cheap jag, maybe turn into a soft top, a bit of robust machine, just in case there's any uh, issues on the way with other drivers. Possibly Japanese, possibly Swedish, possibly, possibly German, but something reliable is the main thing. Reliable. Thinking about a general lee colour scheme, you know, like Juice has it. So we can jog them out the windows of Yeah, something like that. We can revert to childhood with, you know. So uh, we're going to get a very old, beaten up Jaguar, hopefully, that's uh, going to look pretty poor. Cool. Fundraising happens beforehand, so when people get to the gala dinner, it's just relaxed. People have driven 470 miles over two days in an old banger, not what the people are necessarily used to. So at that point, it's a chance for everyone to let their hair down, and they don't need to be on guard or on edge because at that point, there's no more fundraising. And also, we then know exactly how much has been raised at the gala dinner instead of afterwards. We can announce that figure at, at, the, at the dinner itself. The charity is Julia's House, the Dorset Children's Hospice. We care for seriously ill children who very sadly are unlikely to live into our adulthood. Uh, our nurses and carers look after them in their own homes and also at the hospice.
the event is amazing. I mean, what fun for a start. You know, it's going to be absolutely great fun and raising money to care for these children as well. It's just brilliant. <laughs> Charity, I boy. chose Judy's House because it's a local charity. Um, they've recently been on TV and, and in the media saying that they're struggling. Um, and we've had um, three children, all with heart problems. We actually lost a son um, a few years ago. But he, if he had lived, he would definitely have needed help. And we probably would have ended up being a family that needed Judy's House. So the fact that we don't need them still makes me like really think what a wonderful charity. The two, the two that we that are alive that we've got, even if their surgeries have gone wrong, we would we were told all the complications, and and, and they as well may have may um, have needed it. And you know, I mean, on the one hand, it's very easy for people to have a close call and not need something, and then not really get involved but we feel very privileged thank god that we haven't needed it but on the other hand well, at least we can help other families yeah, that are still doing because we 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 lived in hospitals and we do know what it what it's like to have ill children that's for sure you know so um it, it means a lot to us doesn't it Definitely. The, the money being raised through this rally is a really significant amount for us to be raising over twenty thousand is a big amount we don't often get sums of that amount raised for us Overall, to put that into context, we need to raise about 2.7 million per year to raise the money to care for the children, both in their own homes and at the hospice. People would I like to win? Um, I'd like to be at first there, naturally. Um, but uh, it's got to be the one for raising the most money. I think it's all about that's why I'm in it for fun. fun. But, uh, to raise the most money would be, would be great to finish it off. Well, what trophies? I don't even know what trophies there are. Well, you know they have the spirit of the gun. So it's going to have the spirit of whatever this is, the DSS. Probably larking around the place, but I think we'll struggle with Baron. Yeah, he's, uh, yeah. he's pretty loud, isn't he? Probably the fact that you can drive a car and not have to worry about what happens to it. So it could be quite good fun at traffic lights and things like that if other competitors are in front of my car. I'm really proud to be part of it. It's nice to be able to raise some money but have some fun while we're doing yeah. it. And, and we mustn't lose sight of that and it's all about, you know, it's this fantastic charity and they're really struggling at the moment. So to raise that much money, I think that's a real thing. So that's fantastic. Um, it'd be nice to have the cheapest car, I think. I think that'd be an achievement. If we can get there in an absolute you know, an old boner, then um, I think that would be, be an achievement. It's not a race. It's not a race, remember. It's not a race. It's a rally. Yeah, no, we're, we're going to get that Well, it might be the cheapest car. Or we might end up on the transporter. We just, if one breaks down, we've got to break down next because we want to get there. <laughs> but I am saying to everybody, if you come near me in the last five miles, then unfortunately it's not my fault if I'm trying to swerve to avoid animals on the country roads in Scotland. And I collide with your car, I apologise.